vectors. This is very similar to lists, but okay, let's see. Um, we use square brackets, and if I evaluate that, okay, I don't need to worry about quoting or anything. There is no danger of uh, trying to, to call a function because it's different brackets. So it's yes, that's a square bracket is not a list. This is a vector. So that's one, one big difference. The other big difference will be that uh, we will have proper access to, to the elements. But okay, let's just have um, another example. So of course, again, in the vector, in, in the sequence of elements, you can put anything, any time. And also you have um, the function vector, and you can put any number of arguments there, and sure, you will get um, the vector data structure there. Um, there is an, another one, it's shorter, it's vec, and uh, that's where you already have a collection, and you want to turn that collection into a vector, okay? So that's a, that's a different thing. I actually never know which one is which, is vec or vector, we always have to look it up, but never mind. So it's, it, it does make sense to have an, another one when you turn a, a collection into a vector, or you just have a bunch of things and you want to create a vector. So, but, but the big deal is that, um, let's say, if we have um, this one. So we have this function, nth, and that can um, give you the element directly. So the, um, the positions in the sequence, they are numbered by, by, um, by an index. And if I evaluate that, oh, I get two. So index one is the second element. So we start indexing from from zero. Let's just uh, do that. Let's see Let's, what is the index zero element. Okay, well, I am. That's that's the first one. Also, what is the index three? Oh, yeah, index three would be the fourth element, and we don't have that. And that's, um, that's a big enough trouble that we decide that's an, that's an error. So over-indexing is, is an error. And um, yeah, I, was just, I wanted to summarize the vectors, but here is a very important one again. This is the empty vector. So we will use vectors um, all over the language. So it, it will be used for um, when defining functions, the argument list uh, is a vector or the temporary symbol bindings that's also in a, in a vector. And you know, that's a, so that's a big um, innovation of, of Clojure. So Clojure is a Lisp and Lisp is about Lisp processing. So from the late fifties, uh, sort of the only native, the only built-in data structure was sort of the list. And that, you know, complicates it a little bit and you have so many parentheses. Uh, but since we have another delimiter, the square bracket, and it can denote another thing. Now we have a um, random access um, data structure, a random access sequential collection. So that makes it a lot nicer to, to program in Clojure.